I was living in a culture, and I have to live within the culture. So that's the way it is. You guys are now watching another episode of Elite TV. I'm Chuck Walden here with defending Super Bowl champion Jerron Johnson from the Seattle Seahawks. How you doing today, Jerron? Good, good. good to have you, man. So, two on one heading into the bye week. You're back home. What is the mindset of a player when they go into the bye week? I just rest up. Just rest up and get ready for the uh, game coming out of the bye. You know, we got the Monday nights. So we got a little more time. We got an extra day to prepare as well. So we got the bye plus an extra day. So just get, uh, get your mind mentally right. Get your body rest up and ready to go. Now, you guys have a target on your back after winning the Super Bowl. I mean, dominating fashion, 43 to 8. What is it like in the locker room right now? Like, you guys motivating each other. Every game you feel like you're the target. Everybody wants to give you the best even when you play some of the losing teams. We don't even look at it like that, honestly, man. It's a championship and a game every week. You know, every week can be a championship game. Every week can be a matter of being, uh, NFC West champions or not, you know. So we take that mindset every week in and week out no matter who now, you remember that vaunted Seattle defense that we all know, and some hate, some love to hate, but either way, they respect what you guys do in that field. What makes you guys so dangerous on the defensive end? Uh, we play for each other. You know, we, we, we're, uh, everybody knows the rule. Everybody does their job. And when you have 11 guys on the field doing that job, you know, the uh, coaches put together great calls for us, and we just execute it. You know, we play fast and physical. That's, that's one thing we want to do. We want to be the most physical team. Yeah, now you were at Boise during the glory years, man. I mean, just talk about what it was like to be a part of not even really reviving, but really putting that program on the map for the first time for a lot of people who weren't familiar with it. Well, I mean, before I got to Boise, it was we, they were actually already winning. You know, they had some undefeated seasons. They were doing well. And then that Fiesta Bowl win against Oklahoma kind of just, you know, skyrocketed. You know, take it to the to the next level. And that was my real show year, and then just from there on, we just got better and better each year. It was a great journey, man. Now, being a California kid, you, like you said, you play middle linebacker in high school, and it's a lot of pro football players that come from the LA area. Are there any players in particular that you stay in contact with or that you competed against growing up through youth football, high school football, that are now in the league with you? Uh, Richard Sherman went to high school. Oh, really? Yeah, went to school four years ago, freshman, senior year. Oh, wow. So you were the middle linebacker and... He was a corner receiver. Oh, wow. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys back together again with this yeah, Seahawks. Yeah, that, that made the transition coming to Seattle a little bit easier having somebody there, you know. So it was, it was cool. So now we all know that Richard Sherman that likes to do his talking, you know. Yeah. Why you mad, bro? Why you mad, bro? <laughs> so what is Richard Sherman like now compared to what he was like in high school? Same guy. That's what I try to tell people, man. He's the same guy. Just on a bigger platform. You know, that's how it is. He, uh, he's going to talk. He's not going to bite his time. I mean, we were all like that in, in high school, spe uh, especially. Like, we felt like we could never touch us, you know. We, we, we carried that attitude on and off the field. And he just, he just keeps me going, you know. Uh, a lot of people talk bad about him, but that's Richard, man. If you, if you know him, you know that's him. And you got to accept it. But some people don't really see it that way. You guys are like the team of... Just controversy, just from the head coach down to Richard Sherman, down to Beast Mode, Marshawn Lynch. I mean, what, what are some of the guys like that the fans may not know at home? What, what, is, what is Beast Mode like, really? My grandmother loves me. My mom loves me. You know, uh, the media stuff that's going on in New York. My mom called me telling me, you know, telling me up with him. So they love him. He's a, he's a good dude. That's like Big Pro, man. You can always go and talk to him. You know, it's just he don't like the media. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now, they told me that you have the nickname of the Hitman. College, they gave you that. The, the, the Hitman. So <laughs> just say, yeah. how, how did that kind of come about? And, and are there any particular hits that you remember really laying on somebody? It all goes back to what was that? My sophomore season? Say. I had some big hits my freshman year with my sophomore season. Uh, it's actually a YouTube video uh, put it back in Idaho State. Mm -hmm. So that's, I guess that's where it kind of came about. But, uh, you know, hitting has been part of my game since I was in pop one year. Really good at uh, handling the nail, so no doubt. Now, game day, Sunday, or when you guys come back from the bottom, Monday night. So what is game day like for Jerron Johnson? Like when you wake up until when you get out there on the gridiron. Pre-game song, what are you doing to get ready? You a Wheaties guy, you don't do breakfast. Uh, wake up and turn the music on. Uh, uh, you know, the 
the iPod dock or I have my beat pill and just turn the music on. I don't know who's next door. And Pandora yeah. one, right? Like you was just nah. telling Jordan, you got the Pandora. Nah, I got my music <laughs> going. I, uh, West Coast in it, man. The DJ Mustard, new uh, little mixtape okay. got going. Okay. A new Cheesy album. Uh, Nipsey Hustle, you know, so I get that music going. And just, you know, get me in my mode and, and eat some breakfast. Get dressed, man. You gotta get fresh on game day. That's a, that's a, that's a yeah. dress code. Gotta be right. Man. The dress code gotta be right. So what are you wearing on game day? Um, last week what I wore was some, uh, some sweat. I just kept it kind of simple. Some sweats or joggers. Uh, Javanchi T, that's some Vince Younger sneakers. Oh, wow, you doing the video? You on your you the Kanye on the team? Nah, Who's man, Kanye, Kanye, he a little, you know, Kanye <laughs> fashion, you know, fashion, yeah. like, he, he does it. Yeah, that's what I, he I, do. I won't give myself too much credit, but I, I'm all right. So speaking of that, on the Seahawks, who's the best dresser on the team? Okay, you the best dresser? Like, Sherman won't have nothing to say about that? Nah, Sherman, he ain't really in the fashion like that. Uh, Cam, Cam gets fresh. Uh, Earl as well, Marshawn. But I gotta give it to myself. Okay, you gotta give it to yourself. I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, throw their name out there. Okay, yeah, give them a little love, yeah, but you're the right. best dresser. Like, okay, <laughs> who's the best dancer on the team? You gotta go with Rich. He's the only one who's the best dancer. Really? Yeah, he, he dances out there in practice, so especially when camp is dancing out there. Puts on the show. When we look back at NFL history, it's a lot of great defensive backs that have played the game. The Ronnie Lodge, Deion Sanders. Who are some of the guys that you look up to that you try and model your game after? Some of your favorite players, past and maybe even present, like in the league today. Uh, Deion all the time. You know, that's crazy. She got Steve Brady. Healthy Bob Sanders. Healthy Bob Sanders. I agree. Healthy Bob Sanders. That, that's what I look up to. High school and college. Bob Sanders, Sean Taylor, rest in peace. We got Brian Dawkins. It's, it's a lot of great. I didn't get to see Ronnie Lott play off too young. Know, but I've seen uh, highlights. We got Jack Tatum. Highlights. Open Raiders, yep. You know, so I, I went back and did some research on some of the great DVDs. And we, uh, yeah, but Dion is all the time great as DVD. Yeah. We got to be fine. Now, before we get you out of here, we always like to like ask some of the athletes to entertain us a couple fun questions that the fans at home want to know. So, we got to ask you, Drake or Lil Wayne? Right now. Right now? Okay. Are you an iPhone person or are you going with the, the Detroit? iPhone. Okay. Nicki Minaj or Amber Rose? Nicki. Nicki? I got the biggest crap. Nicki, if you see this, <laughs> talk to me. Nicki will see it. We're going to send it through to you. <laughs> All right. So, I know you're an LA guy. Kobe or LeBron? LeBron. But you're from Cali. LeBron over Kobe? So you was a Shaq fan growing up then? Jordan. 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 Wow. From Jordan to AI to LeBron. I got talk too much mess to the oh, family wow. about the Lakers. The, I couldn't do it. Kobe's had it. He's one of the best ever. I'm just looking at LeBron all day. Alright, man. I mean, the biggest name right now is Richard Sherman. So you're going with your team, man. So you're going with your team, man. He's the biggest name right now. And then coming out of high school, Richard uh, won state triple jump. He won state hurdles. And uh, football, like, we won a championship. Like, yeah, yeah. And any. Thing you want the fans at home to know about Jerron Johnson, who you are as a person and stuff. Where can they follow you? Um, Instagram, Instagram Twitter. We got Instagram, uh, Jess underscore show off. That's J U S underscore show. Same uh, handle for my Twitter. Uh, Facebook as well, Jerron Johnson. Uh, so you want to get a Facebook out there? You gonna get a whole lot of friend requests. Oh Facebook. no, this this the fan. Page. Okay, the fan. Page. <laughs> Personal know. page. I don't accept <laughs> anybody. So, yeah. But the fan page. Uh, yeah, Jerron Johnson. I'm just me, man. I'm a normal dude that's every day. That's it. That's how I am. Well, we're pulling for you, man. I'm a big fan of your game. I loved you in college, and I honestly mean that, so I wouldn't have did the interview. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't a fan, I like to interview athletes that I'm a fan of, and you're a great person on and off the field, and I want the people to know that, because some of these athletes are not nice people off the field, but Jerron is a great person, and we wish you luck the rest of the way, and hopefully you guys can repeat. Sure. We'll see you guys down in Arizona. Let's do it. Good luck. Appreciate it. All right, that's Jerron Johnson with Chuck Walker, the Elite Insiders.